Hello! In this video, we will be learning how to create tile maps and tile sets. Then we will learn how to draw tiles and use the layer system to create foregrounds and backgrounds. After that, we will learn how to use the patterns and the terrain set systems to speed up map creation. And finally, we will learn how to use tile map collisions. Alright, now all we gotta do is go over to the Scene tab, press Ctrl A, and search Tile Map. And then we can just select the Tile Map node. Now we've got a Tile Map node created. We can now see that we've got like this Tile Map button down here which allows us to see tiles and the patterns and everything that we've created. But we don't have any tiles to put in the tile map yet. So now what we have to do is go over to the inspector and see this tile set here. Go and press new tile set that creates like kind of this grid thing here. Now we have this tile set tab. So now to create a tile set, we just drag over a sprite sheet and then we say yes to this. And we, as you can see here, we've kind of got a grid of all our tiles. Now, these aren't the actual tile sizes that we want. We don't want everything broken up like this. So we would have to go 70, 70. This is the pixels per tile for each thing. So now, as you can see, that's a lot better, but it's slightly offset. So if we go separation. One, one, that looks much better. You can see that the tiles are correct now. So now you'll notice that some tiles are dark and some tiles are light. That means they won't be added to the tile map. So you can just click them, to enable them. Perfect. So now we've got all those added. We'll do another. Uh, we'll do another sprite sheet. Press yes again. This is once again also 70 pixels per tile. But this one doesn't have the separation, so we can just kind of leave them like that. But once again, we'll have to enable all the tiles if we want to use them. But we won't we don't need these so to get rid of tiles you just go over here and press the erase button see just kind of drag and delete tiles now perfect all right now that we've got our tile sets done we can go to the tile map and press on one of these tiles that we just have now here and we can go and they will draw but uh as you can see they're kind of like the wrong size and it looks Bad. So what you got to do is go to the tile set up here again, click on it, and change the tile size to 70, 70, or whatever the pixel size of the tiles is that you're using. Okay, now they look much better. They're properly spaced apart. Okay, now you can erase the tiles with right click and draw them with left click, like that. So I'm just going to clear out this tiles that we have here, and then I'll show you some more brushes. All right, now that I'm done clearing out the tiles, I'm going to show you the line brush, which is a pretty handy brush where you can just click and drag and it'll draw your line and automatically place the tiles in between. So you get nice lines like that. Super nice. And then there's also the fill tool brush where you can just press like that and it'll fill up any space. It won't work if you're outside. Of a space but it will try and solve this shape that you're trying to make another thing you can do is draw rectangles and just like that it's super easy and if you hold down right uh, shift and right click you can just delete all of them super super simple also an another very handy tool is this place random tile. So if you go into your tiles sheet and like select, click and drag. And so I've got all these tiles selected and I'll draw a bunch and boom, it's a random selection of tiles. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And you see this scattering number here. Well, you can just change this to be, let's say 0.2. Uh, let's whoops 
and see now there's some tiles that aren't filled in so it doesn't place all the tiles automatically this is really handy if you want to like place flowers but you don't want to have the same pattern every time all right let's clear these out and now let's do kind of just a very basic platform for our level so i'm just going to go and place tiles uh oh i've still got the scattering on i'm just going to place some tiles here for the ground and then um let's do a wall over here and maybe a couple platforms i'll get rid of this one and a couple platforms like that okay so now what if we want to have like a foreground and a background for our level so some like mushrooms or something where the player can walk in front of and behind so it gives kind of the scene a little bit of depth well we can go and create some layers over here in the tile set in the inspector and so we've already got this one layer and it doesn't have a name so we'll just call this like level tiles and you see it renames it over here then we can add an element right here and boom we've got another um set of tiles or not another set of tiles another layer so we can call this uh or ground and we'll do another one and we'll call it background so now based on how these or how these are arranged here is depends on which is rendered uh, in front of the others so like let's go to the foreground and select some uh tiles to draw and you see how it kind of grays out the previous tiles so we've got level tiles those are shown background tiles and foreground tiles all right let's go and place some of these mushrooms here on the foreground so i'm going to go and select a bunch of these mushrooms by clicking and dragging i'm going to turn on scattering and I am going to turn this up to, uh, let's say, one. One. Okay, now I'm going to click and drag. And look, there's just a bunch of mushrooms that are kind of scattered there. Now I am going to go to the background layer and then just place a couple mushrooms like that. So now if I go back to the foreground or the level tiles, I guess, you can see I've got some mushrooms here and the level. All right, I'm gonna teach you now how to use patterns. So I'm gonna go and turn scattering off. I'm gonna switch to the selection tool and I'm gonna click on these tiles. Say like we really like we have this pattern we have here of these platforms. I'm gonna hold shift and select the other two platforms press control c and now i'm going to go click onto this patterns tab and press control v so now i've got these three patterns here which we can just switch to the drawing mode and it'll place those anywhere which is great if we like to have a pattern we can just repeat that pattern anywhere all right, now that we've learned about patterns, we can learn about terrain sets, which if you've used Unity are kind of like rule tiles. So they're very, very useful on a great way to automate your uh, setup. So you go here into the inspector on the tile map, you click uh, terrain sets, add element, then you go to terrains, add element. So you can uh, change it from matching corners and sides to matching corners and matching sides. I like to leave it on matching corners and sides. Um, I'll just leave the name default for now. So now you go to your tile set and choose the tiles that you want to include in your uh, terrain set. So what I want to do is I'm going to set up more platforms. So I'm going to choose this tile, go to select, click the tile, and then uh, under terrains, set your terrain set to zero since i'm using terrain set zero and then um zero for terrain as well because i'm also using terrain zero and the terrain set then you'll notice that you get this terrain peering bit here and it'll have right side bottom all these numbers so what these mean is this is where it's going to be looking for 
the tiles to repeat off of. So I'll just show you what I mean. Um, since this is a, if you zoom in here, it's a right, it's a left tile. So you want one, a tile on the right side. So I'll just set that to zero. And that's it for this tile. Now I'll find the left one or the center one. So I'll set the train set to zero and terrain to zero. And then I will want the right side to be zero as well. And then the left side to be zero. So it'll need tiles on both sides to appear. Then I will go back out and try and find the last one since this isn't a sorted uh, tile set. So I'll once again, train set zero, terrain zero, then the train peering bits, I will have the right side Z, uh, minus one and the left side be zero. So now I can go back to my tile map, go to terrains, click on the terrain set, and then I will uh, train set and then terrain zero. And notice how, let me uh, right click, it's automatically updating the tiles to put the correct one in the correct spot. So you can use this to draw levels very, very quickly and efficiently. All right, so now I'm just gonna delete this tile and then we're gonna be good to test out our level. So I'm just gonna drag these player scene into the level. I'm going to uh, hit play, I'm gonna build the project and then the player falls through the level. That's because um, we didn't set up any collisions for the tile or the tile map at all. So there's nothing for the player to collide with. In order to do that, we just have to go back to the tile map and go to physics layers. So I'm gonna close the train sets, go to physics layer, add element. And then we've got the collision layer and the collision mask. I'm just gonna leave those on one and one for now. Then I'm gonna go back to the tile sets select the tile sheet you want to do, select the tile you want to work on, and then you go to the physics, physics layer, then you scroll down and you'll see this image thing. Go to add polygon tool, and you'll just draw one polygon, and you'll see that this kind of shows where the collisions will be for the tile. So now I've got one tile all set to collide with. Then I can go to my painting tab up here, go to select property editor. Actually, I got to select a tile first. Um, select property editor, physics layer. And then I can go and uh, let's find the other tiles. Uh, let's go to this one, drag up here. Do it again. So now this tile's completed. And then we can just go and paint this physics collision onto all of our tiles that are similar. So you just go and click them and they are done. So now let's go to the ground tiles where the grass is facing up. It's not going to be the same. So we're going to drag this down. And then we can go to all the other ground tiles uh, that we are using, which is just this one. And they will all be physics collided now. So now if we hit play, our players should be able to just be able to navigate the level. Perfect. All right, thanks. And if you like this video, could you please like and subscribe? And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Bye.